Hey YouTubers, um, I haven't done a video in a long time. Um, usually I do videos every other couple days, but since school has started, everything has changed. Um, a lot of things changed. So I thought I'd do a video um, on an application that re was recently released, and it's called iShowU HD. Um, iShowU HD version 2.0.2 .2 is the latest version out. The icon's much better, much better than before. Icon before, it, it just looked really sucked. It just looked really just, it just didn't look good. Um, the new icon looks pretty professional. Um, I got the pro professional version. And um, as a word of warning, the X3100 um, Intel graphics meter accelerator pro uh, chipsets um, do not have really good compatibility with this. It will work, but sometimes you'll experience a few lag, a few bits of lag, and you know some. It will hang for a while. Uh, but other than that, it works fine. They, I show you originally HD originally had um, compatibility issues with the X3100, but now they fixed the compatibility issues, but the speed still lacks in many ways, more than one. So first off, you notice that the interface is much like um, Photo Booth and also much like the way um, ScreenFlow is written. ScreenFlow um, that gives you basically record from the little transparent black menu in the beginning, and uh, you can choose sources and things. Um, but it doesn't give you a live preview. It just says, you know, you want to start recording, that kind of thing. It has a red button, that like like this button, this red button here, that lets you record. And then once you're done recording, it'll give you this editor. Um, the editor looks really much like this, with a screen here, and um, basically a film roll here. Um, but this one's different. Uh, the film roll is not here. It actually gives you live preview, as you see my mouse is moving, and also each video that you take is like a snapshot, like a thumbnail. Works the way I photo, I mean, uh, photo booth works. Photo booth will take a photo, it will pop up a little, like a photo type thing here, and um, you can have multiple folder, uh, multiple pictures. So yeah, let's go over sources. Um, there's microphone, computer audio, which you need to install Soundflower. The keys, um, let's say if I press command, you'll see it here. Just like in the Apple Quick Tip movies that they show every week. Um, also camera, um, you can include the camera, um, there's me, yeah, so yeah, there's a bunch of other stuff, like a media browser, oops, like a media browser, there's advanced tab, um, you can choose the mouse mode, the springiness, um, you can also, a feature only in HD Pro, which costs $60, HD version being three dollars. The Pro version has start and low CPU mode. Also, the Pro version has the keystroke, um, you know, thing, keystroke feature. Um, the start and low CPU mode is good for people who play games and want to take a snap, a video snapshot of what they're doing, like on a game or making a music video or something. And it's basically that it will, the compressor part of it will not run until after you record a movie and finish. So therefore, it uses less CPU resources and leaves more for the game. Or movie you're recording. Um, you can make you can customize the mouse just like on ScreenFlow, like a, like a sound or any something like that. But you can't edit the video. You can't edit the video in terms of the way ScreenFlow can. Um, that's the one drawback. But the good part is that it just the interface seems a lot better. Um, you can there's more options in here. It just feels better as in a native app. And the video um, options, audio options, you can you can change them. Depending on what you uh, what you know and what you need, um, you can change quality. The, the compressor you can make it AVI file, um, a raw file, or a MPEG four, um, dot MOV file. All these kind of files, and you can also change the audio. Um, the audio is AAC Apple. Um, forgot what it's called, but it's a pretty good. They use uh, they use a lot of Apple stuff. Apple native, um, you know compressors and audio fi uh, sound files so therefore they can save resources. Um, if you want to record audio from applications like games instead of playing it through your speakers and recording it through your microphone you can install audio capture driver which I don't need so I didn't install yet. Um, you can have a custom background again I think this is the watermark feature since watermark I can't find it anywhere but it's pretty cool you can add a little icon to, um, to like the side like about here and then uh, when you're recording, and you can say, oh, this movie is produced by so-and-so or something of, something similar like to that. Um, there's different output video types. 
it's much more organized than before. It has web, YouTube standard and high, which are the two definitions you can watch YouTube videos right now, um, as well as Vimeo, Blip TV, and Viddler. Web HD, iMovie, Email, DV, and Final Cut. There's a lot of resolutions. Um, you can also choose capture area, which doesn't work that well on my um, 24 inch, but and, uh, the graphic card lags a bit, as you can see. But anyway, um, there's a lot. The whole it's a whole lot of fun. You can change to where it's stored, the movies what are stored. You can change the options, displays. As I said before, Intel GMA X3100 has a few issues with it, but it doesn't. It's not the point. It's not to the point where it doesn't work. It's to the point where it just lags every now and then. Um, you can also update, and you can include a system profile which gives you just the basic system info of your laptop or desktop. And so I, I prefer not to send it, but I do check for updates. And you can have support and everything else like that. So yeah, that's I show you HD. Um, if, if you want an idea of what it can do, I suggest you go to um, shinywhitebox.com, I show you HD, slash I show you HD. And you can choose the I show you HD features tab, and it'll give you a you know, very simple list of what it can do, as well as what HD slash HD Pro can do. Uh, if you want to purchase it, it's here. Um, HD is thirty dollars. HD Pro is sixty dollars. So upgrading from I show you HD HD alone is just ten dollars more. Good deal. Um, HD Pro is I think it's not it's worth it since the features do kind of give a leverage over ScreenFlow. But ScreenFlow it just lacks some of the other features that I show you has. But I show you lacks the editor feature. Or you can add the video natively. So yeah, that's my video. I hope you guys like it. And please con comment, rate, subscribe. I'll have another video for you guys soon. Um, probably this weekend. Surprise, surprise. On a surprise topic, of course. Won't tell you guys. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And also, um, I almost forgot. Today's 9-11. Um, so yeah, 9-11. Um, September 9-11. Some years ago, um, the... Some two dumbasses flew two planes into the Twin Towers, and the Twin Towers burned to the ground. Um, really, really tragic day. Um, here's a picture of the his picture of the Statue of Liberty and Twin Towers. Really, really sad day. I feel I felt really motivated and inspired that day. Um, I was just I think in fourth grade, but that was beside the point. Everyone around the world felt the change, and now we're fighting a war for this. So yeah. Um, that day I really, f it was really, it was really, um, inspiring and awing because, you know, we were making history that day. A lot of people were injured. There were almost 3,000, um, deaths, excluding the 19 hijackers. Um, over 6,000 injured and al Qaeda by, led by Osama bin Laden, you know, blah, blah, blah. This is the Wikipedia page. You guys can check it out. So yeah, I, I think we should have a moment of silence, you know, to, we, uh, we did at school today, the, the school educational, the school board decided to have a moment of silence every 9-11, you know, to feel the tragedy, the pain. Um, so yeah, let's have a moment of silence. Anyway, so yeah, um, moment of silence is over. I uh, hope you guys really felt the pain in the situation, the gravity of the situation. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching this video, and may this may this day not be forgotten. Uh, yeah.